spent a lot of time from yesterday until the last session about wonderful world of MOOC. Yes, MOOCs are everywhere. In Korea also, there is KMOOC. KMOOC has been in service for more than five years. Before KMOOC, we have KOCW, as MIT OCW initiated. <clears throat> but today, what I'm going to talk about is not a MOOC, not an OCW, but online Korean language program. So is, is it a rightful time to think of or to discuss online Korean language program? Well, in old saying in Korea, we have this kind of thing. If it gets started, then it gets halfway done. So, whatever, or um, I think it's better be late than never started. Um, I am Suji Lee, and I am a deputy director general, as I introduced, as I was introduced before, of ASEAN Cyber University Project. We've spent a lot of time, more than seven years, of ASEAN Cyber University Project, and there had been frequent and consistent request about the online Korean language program by our member, state, member universities and member countries. As we all know that ASEAN have 10 countries in our community, right? But ASEAN Cyber University Project, which was initiated in year 2012, we only have four, uh, we only have five countries out of 10. So for those five countries, including Thailand, there had been um, consistent requests about online Korean languages and I think it's a rightful time because we developed and we found really good courses, online courses that we could provide over ACU, ASEAN Cyber University, LMS platform. Um, Ms. Hyun Kim, next to me, we developed this presentation together. So um, when you have a question, if it's a question about, if uh, your inquiries, inquiries about something technical, then she will get answer. She will get to you with the answer. But other than that, I'll get to you with the answer. Uh, before starting, let's... Um, she, will, she will introduce herself too. Good afternoon. My name is Suyan Kim of ASEAN Cyber University Project Secretariat. Uh, we, ASEAN Cyber University Project Secretariat, operate e-learning learning management system for ASEAN countries' universities, and we are also operate a CU OER platform for all. So anyone can use and see our contents on the ACU OER platform. So we are going to uh, introduce today about the Korean courses, one of the topic of our e-learning contents. So let's get started, yes. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Uh, have you have you been here last year for this session? Is uh, is everybody well aware of or have heard of ASEAN Cyber University project before? Nope. I'll get to that point a little bit later. But um, right now, let's talk about Korean language program first. Today, I'm going to cover why. We are talking about Korean language here now. And then, if it exists, do Thai community, Thailand universities or schools have Korean courses and programs already? Maybe. So I'll get to that point a little bit later. But 
Do Thai people have online Korean courses so far? <laughs> I'll talk about it. And then finally, I'll introduce you what ACU stands for, ASEAN Cyber University Project. ACU project is about. So why Korean language? My presentation is more targeting toward people in Thai. I'm sure we have international community of audience here in this room, but um, it can be their reference. But I mean, uh, undergrad students or university students, they would like to go study. They would like to go profession. They would like to go for their profession in abroad, right? And then they also would like to be a fluent, be fluent in English too. There really had been a demand for study abroad by burgeoning middle class in Thailand. That's what I have heard. And um, the benefits of studying abroad includes a lot of various aspects, including high academic standards, internationally recognized qualification, and fluent in English. In year 2015, Australian government pointed that 9.5% increase in, Thai, Thai, in students from Thailand enrollment in Australian higher education institutions. That's compared to the same period of, of year 2014. That means more and more students from Thailand go for their studying in Australia. Why? The benefits of studying abroad are, of course, huge. We all know that there are the obvious benefits such as high academic standards, internationally recognized qualifications, and the opportunity to become fluent in English. Benefits are not just academic. Living and studying in a foreign country is an also incredible experience which builds character and helps burden horizons. broaden horizons. Cultural capital gained from studying abroad is an advantageous which cannot be acquired staying in one's con home country and its international experience is attractive to also employers in Thailand. The strength of the Thai economy and the country's burgeoning middle classes are one of the driving, de driving demand for study abroad. By Thailand Education Agent Survey of year 2013, as you can see on the screen, the major factors for Thai students in choosing destinations are, the first one is affordable tuition and living, expensive, e e living expenses. And the second one is university ranking. The third one is uh, availability, availability of part-time work. And the fourth, duration of study. If the master's program or PhD program in, in abroad requires you 10 years of study, are you going? Nope. <laughs> and educational institutions. Higher education institutions in Australia satisfies, have satisfied these needs with tuition reduction and various scholarship opportunities. That's why lots of more and more Thai students are going for their study in Australia. And English proficiency. One of the founding members of ASEAN community. Thailand, Thai people think that English shall be a working language of ASEAN because 10 ASEAN countries, all the, they have all different languages. 
but they, had, they, they need to communicate each other and they need to get to a point that all ASEAN countries can collaborate and can go for an economic growth together. So, uh, higher ed Office of Higher Education Commission in Thailand initiated the 11th Higher Education Development Plan. Of course, there had been another plan before, but uh, 11th Higher Education Development Plan between year 2012 to year 2016 focuses on promote one of the one of the focuses is on promoting bilingual education and development of international programs and increase more international students and while i'm searching for thailand uh, focusing on English proficiency, I, um, I came up with this, Tell Me More project by TCU. Are you familiar with this project, everyone? I think you're better familiar with <laughs> this project than I do. This Tell Me More project by TCU is about English language e-learning program, and it... Uh, it focuses on learning English through internet network, that means online learning. And it aims to develop English skills for ASEAN demands and easy access. And it also provides pre-test and post-test. And it gives six levels of English, English language from a very beginner to the advanced. And finally, it's free of charge. It has been free of charge. Is it still this project going on? Yes. So, we all know that uh, Thai students would like to go abroad pursuing English fluency, uh, proficiency in England, English and uh, profession in English speaking countries. But why am I going to say, why am I going to discuss Hallyu or Korean language right now? As a founding member, I mentioned before, Thailand, Thailand has high development of human resources, newly industrialized the economy, focusing manufacturing, agriculture, and finally, tourism. According to World Tourism Office, in year 2013, the data said that the most, um, Thailand has been the most visited country in Southeast Asian area. Tourism accounted for like 6% of Thailand economy, and it gets to uh, it gets up to like 20% of GDP if it includes indirect effects from the tourism, from the focusing on tourism. And what about the relationship between Korea and Thailand, especially in terms of tourism? Okay, more and more Korean tourists came to visit Thailand and also more and more Thai people go for their holidays and their vacations in Korea. According to a report by KT in Korea, the first quarter of year 2018, people from Thailand are people people from Thailand ranked like sixth of all the all the international uh, international travelers visited rigid Korean uh, peninsula. So, I guess it's just really good, it's a real good time to think about online Korean language program. There had been lots of, uh, there had been centers in Thailand, throughout Thailand, that gives you 
on class of offline class for Korean language and testing center for Korean language, but not online program yet. Let's see, have you seen this Korean drama before? Uh, has anyone know this one? And the snuff, uh, maybe. Hmm? And the snuff, okay. Yes, and the snuff. I'm not sure the exact translation into the uh, into it, but in Korea, the title is Autumn Tale. But it it the story is about the endless love. Yes, correct. Yes, it this drama has been introduced to Thailand community in year 2002, and that's the starting point that people from Thai, people in Thai, people in Thailand are getting more interest in Korean culture, Korean uh, K-pop, and so forth. Has anyone aware of this, uh, this group of guys? It's Korean. 2 p.m. Have you ever heard 2 p.m.? Mm, okay. Among the six members of 2PM, uh, is this, is he familiar, is he look, does he look familiar to you? He's from Thailand. He's one of the members of 2PM. And he is also, he has been also famous in Korea too. Finally, if you are a more uh, younger generation, Generation Z, have you ever heard this? Have you ever played this role-playing game, Summoner's War? Actually, as a uh, Generation X, I'm not really good at this role-playing game. But uh, in April 2018, or three months ago, in Bangkok, there had been a great event by a company which developed this role-playing game. And I saw a picture of that event. And the picture has been a picture show of full of young Thai people, full of young Thai girls and boys who are uh, playing this game on that event together. So all this cultural uh, effect, all these cultural issues are um, affecting Korean language and importance of Korean, uh, learning a Korean language. Um, so, where can you learn? Where, have, where can everyone have an opportunity to learn Korean language before in Thailand? I was surprised, actually. Because, as I told you before, the Korean drama, which got, which got the starting point of Korean cultural interest, that was, interesting, that was introduced in year 2002. But even year 1990s. Burapa University, has anyone from Burapa University? Okay, Burapa University first, in, oh, you. <laughs> Burapa University first introduced the Korean language program into their university curriculum. And it followed by Chula Longkorn University. Chula Longkorn University is the number one university in Thailand, right? Mm. Chula Longkorn University has a Korean language program into their curriculum. And it followed by Nara Seon University and Silpakon University. So even in late 1990s, there are a couple of universities in Thailand, that's a couple of universities in Thailand who provide Korean language, language courses or programs offline, of course. Mm. And from early year 2000, Early 2000, now, there are four more universities are introducing Korean language program into their curriculum, including Mahasalakam Mahas University and Ramkamheng University. And by mid-2000, mid Tamasat University also in introduced Korean language program into their curriculum. And in middle of year 2000, uh, I mean, uh, in the mid 2000, more than 200 middle and high school high schools in 
Thailand, they are accepting Korean as a second language program. Korean as a second language program in a secondary education, it started in year 2008. And so far, there had been 200 middle and high schools are, are selecting Korean as a second language program, and 170 international schools are offering Korean language program as their second language. Uh, what's this uh, icing on the cake? Let's say icing on the cake. Year two, by year 2018, Korean textbook consists of six volumes completed and ready to be distrib distributed to middle and high school students. And year 2018, this year, for the first time, PAT, uh, whoever uh, graduated from university in Thailand, and whoever graduated from uh, high school in Thailand and went into university, you all have to take PAT, right? You don't have to? PAT? You don't have to? It's like an entrance exam to the university, right? Mm. So, first time, year 2018, PAT, select Korean as one of second language uh, second languages. Actually, before then, the second languages that Thai students can select is only French, German, Japanese, Chinese, Arabic, Pali. But the seventh, at the seventh, Korean has been selected as a second language. So, in year 2008, more than 5,000 graduates from high school took Korean test. Korean as a second language for in their PAT. This is the Korean textbook. Look at the textbook. And have you seen this picture before? Have you, uh, do you, are you aware where this place is? Iwa University, yes, yes, correct. Iwa Women's University, one of the major, one of the prominent universities in Korea. It's a women's university, though. And she. <laughs> she is Professor Sirinat. Sirinat. I was looking for her spelling of her name in English everywhere, but I couldn't find so I'll just pronoun pronounce her name, Sirinat, professor. She is a professor in Silpakon University. Also, she is a director of Korean Studies Center in Thailand. She actually majored in Malay when she was in university. But after graduating, she started as a, a Korean language teacher then she thought that she could pursue more profession in Korean language and Korean culture. So she went to, uh, she entered into Iwa Women's University Master's Program and PhD program, majoring in Korean studies. And then she graduated. And she also had been a major contributor of Korean textbook development, as I show, as I show you before showed you before in Thailand. So from volume four to six, she developed, she contributed a lot to develop that Korean textbook in Thailand. So it seems to me that in Thailand, the people in Thailand and students in Thailand, they are ready to get into online Korean language program. So there hadn't been any uh, language program, online program for Korean languages before. So as, a, as an ASEAN Cyber University Secretariat, we would like to introduce online Korean language program over ACU LMS platform. It actually 
was originally developed by Cyber University in Cyber University of Korea. Cyber University of Korea, which is one of major major cyber universities in Korea. The university developed four levels of online Korean language courses, but they hadn't marketing or they hadn't they hadn't market or they hadn't promote more than uh, they hadn't promote what they have done with this Korean language pro Korean language courses. And based on the partnership between ASEAN Cyber University Secretariat and the Cyber University of Korea, we both agreed upon that we could provide this quick Korean courses, all four levels of Korean courses into ASEAN Cyber University project member universities and member countries first. And the first target is a Thai, Thailand member, univer uh, member university in Thailand, which is Siripatum University. Actually, LMS platform Siripatum, yes. <laughs> Siripatum, um, community, academic community in Siripatum, you will be the first one to be, um, to be able to access this online Korean language program. Yes. <laughs> As I told you before, the Cyber University of Korea is a cooperative member, the partnership with uh, ACU project, and it this university designed and developed four levels of contents. And contents can be accessed through, actually, it, this contents also access through YouTube. But the thing is that in YouTube, you will not be able to, uh, to take a test after completion of this course. Each level of, each level of course ended up with uh, test pro, uh, uh, ended up with a test, and then when you pass the test, you will get a certificate of completion. And Sripatum University and Korea uh, Cyber University of Korea, they are discussing the title. Who are going to issue that certificate? So uh, later on, by the end of this year, you will see. Who is going to issue <laughs> the? Uh, who is going to issue the certificate online? These four levels of Korean language courses covers the level one covers basic communication related to daily activities, for example, greetings, rudiments of conversations, and so forth. And the second level covers simple conversations in places such as markets, restaurants and how to express preferences and opinions. And the third level, of course, will get you to communicate with Koreans in almost every social circumstances, such as works, hobbies, and relationship, relationships, and so forth. And if you complete level four of the course, you will be able to communicate and you will be able to speak freely at public gathering. Each level consists of 15 to 13 short video clips. The level one, as I mentioned before, covering uh, fundamentals of social interaction and instructions of basic communications related to the daily activities. The level one is composed of 30 short clips, 30 short video clips, including, how are you? I'm Korean. Is there a desk? Is there a desk? If I translate it into Korean, 책상 어디 있어요? And there are topics such as, where are you going? What day is the concert? 
Where is your hometown? Do you have time tomorrow when you are dating? I'm going to do the library to study. Are you going with me? Such as um, things like um, topics that you need in your daily life. Let me show you a little bit of video clip that you will see. You see the subtitle in Thai? All these 30 short video clips in level 1 course has subtitle, subtitle in Thai, Thai language. So it would be more easier to understand whoever starts a Korean language course. So as I mentioned before, there are four levels of courses, and each level con is consists of 15 to 30 uh, short video clips. The level one, the total length of level one video clip is more than seven hours. Of course, it's really, really long, but it's segmented into 30 short video clips. So you can select whichever you'd like to go first, and then whichever you'd like to go last. <laughs> and the level number two has uh, 30 short clips also. And it's the length of the study, length of the video clip is more than 12 hours. And the level number three and level number four, which has also about more than um, 10 hours of watching videos. Each levels, individual level is composed of 15 to 30 short lessons, and every level of lessons come with lesson material as a PDF format. So you are not just watching video, but you have to practice with those uh, lecture material with you together. And all levels have subtitles in Korean and English. And the first level, the 30 lessons of first level also has a Thai, Thai, sub, uh, Thai subtitles. And uh, every level ends up with online test. It's only a multiple choices, but numbers are vary according to which level you are completed. And upon completing the test on level number four, certificates will be issued. So how to, how to access how to access those Korean language program? At first, as I mentioned before, university, uh, students or acad academic community in City Patum University will be the first target user to get, in, to get an access to online Korean courses through this ACU platform. ACU LMS, this is an LMS platform. It's a closed LMS platform. So only a member universities of ASEAN Cyber University can access. So first of all, teacher or professor in Sri Patam University need to open, needs to open a course, Korean course. And then students in Sri Patam University needs to register, they enroll their uh, presence into that course. And after completion, there will be a certificate. This is the certificates, how the certificates that will look like. And because you, you are not uh, familiar with ACU project, I'm going to talk about a little bit of ACU project. Uh, am I behind the schedule? Um, am I right on track? Five more minutes. Five more minutes, okay. ACU stands for ASEAN Cyber University. ASEAN Cyber University project is conducted by ACU Secretariat, which 
has been assigned by Ministry of Education in Korea. And this ACU Secretariat is located in and is uh, reside in Korea Education and Research Information Service, as known as KEDIS. Has anyone known KEDIS? Has anyone ever heard of KEDIS? Okay. KEDIS is a non-profit organization under the Ministry of Education in Korea. And it has more than 250 employees, and it has five major areas of projects going on in Keris. The first one is ICT use in education of K-12. The second one is academic and research information service. And the third one is e-administration for K-12 school. And the fourth one is cybersecurity in educational setting. And the fifth area of uh, fifth area that uh, Keris is focusing on is global uh, global co cooperation and research. The AC project, which um, which is done by um, Academic and Research Information Division in Keris, we are. Uh, we are having an opportunity to expand the higher education opportunity in ASEAN and strengthening relationship between ASEAN and Korean University. Of how, what? Based on operating and offering OER and e-learning courses through LMS. How does project begin? Actually, in year 2009, Dr. Surin Pichuan, the former Secretary General of ASEAN, as far as I remember, he passed away last year, right? Yes. Um, Dr. Surin Pichuan actually initiated the idea of establishing ASEAN Korea Cyber University. In uh, ASEAN, uh, in uh, ASEAN, Korea Commemorative Summit. So after initiating the idea, Korean government accepted the idea, and then Korean government proposed the plan to establish ASEAN Cyber University to ASEAN community in year two, by the end of year 2009. And by year 2010, all 10 ASEAN countries agreed upon to participate actively into establishing ASEAN Cyber University together. So from year 2012, because it's about it's a project about establishing university, Ministry of Education in Korea took this plan, took this proposal into their projects. So from year 2012 to year 2015, Another secretariat, not Keris. Another secretariat has uh, has worked on this project, and initially, when it first started, it initially planned to establish ASEAN Cyber University by the end of year 2015. But the thing is that, uh, can you imagine? Just in four years, can you think that you can establish? A university which, uh, which has all 10 ASEAN countries are, uh, are agreed upon. That's kind of, uh, the, it's a short of time. So by year 2013, Ministry of Education in Korea and ASEAN Secretariat together, they decided that let's postpone, let's postpone our decision to establish ASEAN Cyber University by year 2012. But until then, we are going to focus more on building a capability or building, yes, uh, building e-learning capabilities of several ASEAN countries which had been underdeveloped. For example, 
Laos, Cambodia, and Myanmar, and finally Vietnam. Actually, Vietnam has been excelled. What they uh, what the expectations that um, they are getting, but Myanmar, Laos, and uh, Cambodia, they are they are fast learners, and it's thanks to ASEAN Cyber University project they are learning how to develop e-learning contents, how to manage, and how to um, operate e-learning contents for their students. The environment, IT environment, or the course environment, uh, university environments are all different. So, from year 2016 till year, year 2019, Keris has been uh, assigned as ACU Secretariat by Ministry of Education in Korea, and we are doing the same um, e-learning capability, building an e-learning, developing an e-learning capabilities of CLMB, and with a support, with a lot of support from Thailand. Thailand has been an initial member to our ASEAN Cyber University project. Sri Patum University is a major a supporter for our ASEAN Cyber University project. So with this help, with this support, ASEAN uh, ACU Secretariat is doing a lot of work to uh, extend, to develop uh, e-learning capabilities of CLMB countries and its member universities. And by year 2020, ASEAN's uh, ACU Secretariat uh, has to propose what will be a proper model and what will be an establishment, a proper appropriate establishment strategy to establish ASEAN Cyber University based on all 10 nations agreements. So these are the areas and these are the memberships and our member countries. In Thailand, we have Sri Patum University as a member university. And in Cambodia, we have Institute of Technology of Cambodia and National Institute of Post Telecommunications and Information Communications Technology. We call it NIPTIC. Those are the member universities of ASEAN cyber university projects. From Lao PDR, we have National University of Laos as our member university. From Myanmar, we have UT and UIT as our member universities. And um, I mentioned a little bit about CARIS, which, uh, which performs this ASEAN cyber university project secretariat and it's located in Korea, southern part of Korea. Mm. Uh, and we have five major areas of focus, as I mentioned before, and one of them is global cooperation and research and academic research information. Um, I think this is all I would like to share with you today. So uh, if you have any questions regarding online Korean languages or Caddies or ACU project. I'm happy to be uh, happy to be here to answer you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Lee Suji, for um, such a fruitful information you're sharing with us about the uh, um, Korean online Korean courses and also the current situation of ACU and also the e-learning in Korea. So, any question? From the floor, yes, please. Good evening, I'm from Taksin University, the one that you mentioned on the screen. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I just would like to know that how, how could I apply to be the membership, Member. just like Sri Batum yeah. University, yeah. since we have, you know, mm -hmm. Korean course. Mm -hmm. And also right now we have difficulty in finding Korean instructor mm -hmm. to, to teach at mm -hmm. university. So we can't, um, have that as the have the Korean Korean language mm -hmm. as the major mm -hmm. 
it's right now it's still as a minor subject. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. Um, let me answer the first one first. Uh, the member university, because it's in the middle of the projects. The phase one, uh, project phase one ended in year 2015, and the phase two with Keris will be over by year 2019. So by the year 2019, there will be no more member universities, member states, no more. But after deciding, after uh, ASEAN community decides what type of cyber university they are building, then there will be a whole lot, whole new projects for establishing cyber university and there will be another um, way of uh, participating as a member or participating as a partner uh, so we will uh, we will introduce it to you we'll introduce to the ASEAN community whenever it happens whenever it gets happen the second one yes um, there are also requests from uh, CLM countries also as well as Thailand that Online program cannot be, or how can I explain? Um, if the online program with an actual instructor together will be more effective delivering that course material and course um, purpose. So we are going to discuss, we are discussing how to prepare or how to, uh, yes, how to prepare the instructor who is going to utilize this online course program into their university setting. So um, if we finalize the answer, then we will let you know later to Taksin University. Yes. Thank you very much, Professor Suji Lee. So everyone, please again give a big approach for the presentation.